Hi friends, in this video we are going to look at how we can add a custom field to Odo POS. For this I just created a module called product band. Inside this module I just added a uh, new field under the product dot product form inside this uh, point of sale category and I am um, added a branded brand field we can add the brand from here we can add this brand field to our POS or line we can go to the PyCharm and we can uh, look at that for this I just created a um, JavaScript file and I just added this JavaScript file to the assets next uh, we need to uh, require the point of sale models uh, we can search that in the source code yeah, we can see the require point of sale models we can just copy this we can paste that here and uh, we can just console this console dot log of models models and now we can check the output of this come to the point of sale Pum. console can see the um, console here inside this console we can see order and the order line and the other models here we can uh, use any of these models from here next we need to uh, load the brand ID field from uh, product dot product to this JS file the JS file for that um, I am using a function called load underscore field we can uh, search this in the source code fields we can see yeah, the usage and we can just copy this code we can paste here in our case the model is product dot product and our uh, field name is brand underscore id so we load we loaded the um, brand ID field to this model next we need to extend this order line and we need to add the brand ID to this order line we can do that models dot we can check that we can see you order line here order line we can use that here order line equal to models models dot order line we can uh, search for this uh, models dot extent in our source code and we are just extended the order line and inside this uh, we used the initialize function inside this we are using the super dot order line for that I am just added the um, variables underscore super underscore order line for, uh, and inside this the value will be models dot order line dot prototype uh, in this line we are calling the super and uh, in this line we are using the this dot brand ID is equal to this dot product dot brand ID at this time we can check 
that we can add a console here console dot logo grant underscore id comma this dot brand underscore id you can see that you can see a console here the brand id is an array and the abc company this is the brand for this whiteboard pen and we need to add this into here we need to add that field in QWAP. for that i'm just inspecting this uh, we can see the li inside this we can see a class called product name we can use that we can add the brand id field after this product name for that i am just added a xml just xml inside this static folder and this xml i added in the queue up we can write the template here and the t the t name I added a T name and a T inheritance here in mode. We can search this in uh, our source code. We can uh, see the, the function and we can just um, copy this. And I am pasting that here and we need to provide the um, export direction to add the branded field so i am adding uh, our location is a span class span hash class this class of class name is product underscore name product hyphen name product hyphen name position is after after this uh, we can add a condition mm. the brand id is present or not props dot mm. line dot line dot line dot brand underscore id we are removing this and this and inside this i am adding a span span here brand and the next is um, t t as we can copy this we can see uh, the brand ID is coming as an array so we need to select the first index uh, from there so I am um, providing the position of the index of the array sorry and um, yeah, I am just upgrading this module we can see can see the brand is come here the brand ABC we can just rearrange that we can add a div here div div
we can see the um, brand for the whiteboard pen is ABC company and we can uh, I just added the um, brand for this acoustic block screen also you can see the acoustic block screen as a brand ABC company so in this way we can add uh, we can load a field to auto POS very simply I hope you got the idea about this thank you for watching Thank you.